What's up guys welcome back to another video so I get quite a lot of questions asking which mobile to buy under 15,000 Indian rupees now there are so many different options under 15,000 rupees and these are my top recommendations if you are buying any mobile under 15,000 rupees whatever your budget may be you can pick any one of these mobiles that I am going to show right now so starting off the list the first one is the Realme 2 Pro now as you guys know this is a very very popular phone Realme 2 Pro has some really nice hardware as well as software so there are two versions actually one is at 14,000 rupees another one is at 16,000 so if you want the 6 GB RAM you are getting it for 16,000 rupees if you want the 4 GB RAM you are getting it for 14,000 rupees that's really awesome so if you can afford a little bit more money I would recommend you buy the 6 GB 64 GB version and under the hood it has got the Snapdragon 660 chipset and all the octa core processors are clocked at 2.0 gigahertz that means it should perform really fast as well and also for the graphics performance it has the Adreno 512 GPU that's really nice because it has been for quite around and even uh, some in some costlier models they use the Adreno 512 so your graphics performance should be really nice without any stutters in the graphics thing and uh, Regarding the camera, it has the 16 megapixel primary camera at f1.7 plus 2 megapixel depth sensor. So that's uh, another awesome thing about this one because it has f1.7 that means a low light situation picture should be decent enough. I'll be making a camera settings detail video about this Realme 2 Pro. So hit that like button if you want to see full tips and tricks about the Realme 2 Pro mobile. And also regarding the display it has 6.3 inches screen and the brightness is at 400 nits that means even in outdoor situation you should be uh, getting the decent screen display so you should probably be able to see everything properly even in sunlight conditions also at 408 ppi is the uh, pixels per inch density so 6.3 inch is the screen that's really nice for under 15,000 rupees mobile regarding the battery it has 3500 milliampere hour battery and of course it comes with fingerprint scanner as well as face unlock feature so pretty much every Everything they have got covered under 15,000 rupees if you are looking to buy a mobile this should be your top contender. Moving on the second phone that I would recommend is the Honor 9N now this comes at around 12 to 14,000 rupees depending on what version you are buying again. So this has 5.84 inches screen again 2.5D glass display at the front as well as at the back and this display is rated at 432 pixels per inch so resolution uh, should be really nice to look at actually. And under the hood it has the Kirin 659 octa core 2.3 gigahertz clocked uh, processor that means it should perform really well. I have also used this mobile personally so it's really fast. Uh, the only complaint this mobile has is regarding the battery life. I have actually made a separate video about how you can actually get more battery life out of your Honor 9N so do watch that video that should really help you because it has 3000 milliampere hour battery but then it actually gives you more battery depending on how you use and how you actually set the settings inside the mobile phone and of course to top it off it has a fingerprint scanner also face unlock feature the camera is 13 megapixel plus 2 megapixel so there is also wide aperture mode in pretty much any honor phones you buy so that really helps you make the backgrounds really blur so the next mobile in the list is Infinix Hot 6 Pro. Now I personally don't know how this mobile is actually based on the reviews, based on the ratings that I am recommending this one. So this comes at around 8000 rupees, very cheap uh, for a 3GB, 32GB version and it has 5.99 inch screen at 720x1440p. That means this is HD plus display and uh, the main thing about this is that it has 500 nits of brightness. That means even in sunlight situations the display is really really bright and you can pretty much clearly see what's going on on your phone even in direct sunlight situation and it has the face unlock feature also fingerprint scanner 13 megapixel camera plus 2 megapixel depth sensor at f 2.0 that's appreciable as well for under 10,000 rupees you are getting f 2.0 aperture camera dual LED flash for selfie camera you have the 5 megapixel and of course dual sim plus dedicated micro SD card slot that's really nice and it boasts a snapdragon 425 so below 10,000 rupees you can expect that so you cannot expect uh, snapdragon 6 series processors and uh, along with that the battery is rated at 4000 milliampere hour that means you should be getting very decent battery backup with this phone which is uh, available for under 10,000 rupees moving on in my list the next phone that i would recommend is the new one which is the honor 8x now this is available for exactly 15,000 rupees 4gb 64gb version 
it rocks a Kirin 710 uh, chipset at uh, 2.2 gigahertz uh, clock frequency that is the processor which is clocked at 2.2 gigahertz that means uh, your multitasking or uh, any application should run really fast. Uh, under the hood it has the battery which is rated at 3750 milliampere hour which is also appreciated and the main thing is here you get the 6.5 inch full HD plus display that is awesome that is a huge display I would say. The primary camera is 20 megapixel plus 2 megapixel AI dual camera setup is what you have. 16 megapixel front selfie camera and of course it has a face recognition feature also the uh, fingerprint scanner. So, Honor 8X the new mobile in this category you should be looking seriously at this mobile if you are buying under 15,000 rupees. The next one is the Redmi 6 Pro now this has little a bit of complaints going on regarding the battery life or other things but still this uh, has the uh, 3GB 32GB version coming at around 11,000 rupees for a Snapdragon 625 chipset which is really awesome. It boasts 5.84 inch screen full HD plus again at 432 ppi. Again the camera is 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel artificial intelligence dual camera setup. For the selfie a uh, little bit disappointing I would say because only 5 megapixel selfie camera is what you are getting with this Redmi 6 Pro. So considering the battery the capacity is 4000 milliampere hour battery that means it should give you really nice battery backup depending on how you are actually using. So with that said I think it is uh, quite a decent phone for around 11,000 rupees. I, I would have wished that it comes under 9 or 10,000 rupees it would have been great but then that is how it is. So if you are looking for under 10,000 rupees another contender is Realme C1 this has only 2GB 16GB but the other things like the battery backup or the screen is really good and amazing I would say based on the ratings or uh, uh, reviews that I have seen. And of course the other mobile that you may buy is the Redmi Note 5 Pro which is very popular has been for quite a while now. So that is really strong contender as well still it is selling strong uh, 4GB 64GB version you get for 15,000 rupees 6 inch full HD plus display 403 ppi gorilla glass display and you have the 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel rear camera and 20 megapixel front camera for your selfies. So battery is also rated at 4000 milliampere hour capacity Snapdragon 636 so all good things about this only thing that is disappointing is that you do not get pro mode inside this Redmi Note 5 Pro for uh, capturing some really nice images other than that actually I have made separate camera settings video about the Note 5 Pro you can actually watch that. So there is also a mobile if your uh, uh, budget is little constrained you can also look at the Honor 7A which is available for around 8 to 9 thousand rupees that is that mobile is also really good. There is also the Vivo V9 Pro selling at around uh, uh, 15 thousand rupees that mobile is also nice. But I would say the top 5 mobiles to look for is the Realme 2 Pro, the second one I would say Honor 9N, uh, you may also look at the Asus Zenfone Pro Max, uh, Max Pro M1 mobile but it has some uh, negative things about the camera settings, I have personally not tested that mobile but still there are quite a lot of features uh, that it gives you for under 13,000 rupees that is really awesome. And another mobile to look at is the Infinix Art 6 Pro I would recommend because of the fact that it has uh, got so many features coming at under 9000 rupees. Hopefully you got some clarity about buying which mobile to buy at what prices. So if you want me to make more of these videos hit that like button subscribe to Wikik. Uh, see you all in another one till then take care bye bye.